So that's completely normal. So you don't blame yourself for it. But it is also uh, well. Let's let's look at this a little closer. What happens? So you're paying attention to the meditation object, and you're you're following your breath and your breath. Yeah. And then suddenly you find you're somewhere else, and you've been there for quite a while. That's that's the mind wandering experience. Now, what is really important about this is something happened that you remember that this isn't what you meant to be doing. You meant to be meditating. You meant to be keeping your attention on the meditation object. And that is what's important. So you don't want to negatively... You can't quash the mind's natural tendency to search for interesting objects. It just won't work through, through negative reinforcement. You can't quash that. What you can do, though, is positively reinforce your mind doing something else which is completely natural, which you have set an intention to observe the sensations of your breath. And there is some other unconscious process in your mind that notices that, hey, this is the intention, you know, like as if it was a sign, this is what we're doing this evening from 7.30 to 8.30. And it notices that, hey, that's not what we're doing. Science says we're supposed to be doing this. That's that intent. So what it does is that comes into your conscious awareness and you wake up to the fact that, oh, my mind's been wandering. So what you want to do is positively reinforce that. If you're training your mind, you want to, and when your mind does something right that it can do a lot more of, you can do it better, you want to positively reinforce it. If your mind does something right, namely recognizing that mind wandering has occurred and you get angry with yourself for all these different mental processes. They don't know what they did wrong, but they're going to try not to do it again. So you're not, you're not really going to help yourself by generating negative feelings when you realize that your mind is wrong. Instead, positive feeling. And not only that, another aspect of this, if you notice, and I want you to notice when we meditate later this evening, um, if you uh, try to try to stay on top of what's actually happening in your mind, that when you tend to lose focus is when a higher level of consciousness is not there. When you're totally just observing the sensations of the breath, but you're not in that state of knowing that you're observing the sensations of the breath, you're very vulnerable to another thought comes along and the mind just automatically goes from the sensations of the breath to the thought. But when there is that higher order of consciousness so that you see what, what you need to know that you are observing the sensations of the breath, you're much less vulnerable to that. And the other thing happens too, when your mind is wandered and you come into that state of awareness, that is that higher state of consciousness. It's not before, in the moment before you were, your consciousness was purely consciousness of the thought you were thinking, or purely consciousness of the sound you were hearing and the thoughts that were generated and so forth. But, Right? So you were, in a sense, you were conscious, but you were lost at the same time. You were conscious of the thought, but you were lost. And what happened is you moved to this higher level of consciousness where you know what you're doing. Oh, I'm thinking about blah, blah, blah. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, the intention was to be meditating, paying attention to that. And you know that they don't go together. So try and hold on to that and recognize what it is. It is, for a moment, there you pop into a higher state of consciousness. Try and hold on to that. Um, well, first of all, appreciate that. Say, oh, well, I'm more awake. I'm more aware. I'm more conscious. I, my mind is actually at a higher level of consciousness. Isn't this delightful? Uh, see, that's the positive reinforcement. That makes it happen more often and more easily. And then you go back to observing the sensations of the breath, but you try every now and then to invoke that kind of awareness that, well, yeah, I'm still, I'm still with it. 
or yeah, I feel that something's trying to take me away from that. The, in terms of that first stage where there's a lot of mind wandering going on, you can, there's a number of things you can do to help you stay with the meditation object longer. But the real main problem that you have is that when your mind style starts wandering, the wandering will take a long time before you realize that that's happening. So when that's the case, when you have long periods of mind wandering, then, then the most important problem to solve is the fact that you are not discovering that that's happening quickly enough and you want to discover it more quickly. And so that's what's important. And it doesn't matter how often that it happens. You know, I suppose um, it just assume that there's some unknown number of times that you have to realize your mind has been wandering and recognize it and bring it back before you're going to have uninterrupted continuity of attention. You know? and, and just think of it that way. Okay, well, let's check one more off. So it's like, one last time you have to do it. You know, not, not resenting and not feeling bad, not judging, not saying, oh no, this is, you know, why is my mind doing this? It, 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 you, you have to positively reinforce that higher level of awareness that brings you back into the present, and that's where it's bringing you back to, right? Your thoughts, I guarantee you, your thought was not in the present, it was not here and now. But that recognition, that's the here and now, that's the present, that's what you want. So, just you, that's what you want to work on, is that coming back into the present so that it happens more quickly. And, of course, staying in the present, because, of course, when you're following the sensations of breath, that also is the present. And as long as you are aware of what's actually happening as it unfolds, you're in the present, you're in here and now. So that's the kinds of practice that you need to do when you're dealing with forgetting your mind wandering, reinforcing that natural, positive, awakening to the present moment, matching in action and attention. Uh, and the other part is trying to bring as much of that as you can into the awareness of your meditation object, uh, because that will keep you with it and, and keep you from being carried away. You see what happens? When, when this is taking place, there's a lot of things going on in your mind. And by the way, I didn't mention it, but I'm mentioning it. Until you get to a much more advanced stage of the practice, you are not interested in stopping thoughts. You're not interested in trying to stop the distractions. All you're interested in doing is directing your attention to the meditation object whenever it moves away from it, and trying to keep it there as long as you can. Let everything else that goes on go on. Don't try to stop it. That's a big mistake. Try to stop the other stuff. Same thing. You can slow yourself down. It can be a long time before you get past this stage. So let the other stuff be. The only thing that you need to be concerned with is going back to the meditation object. Okay. Now, what you will have noticed, or what you can notice, because I pointed out to you, is that. The reason that you forget is when you're following your meditation object, and you don't pretend that my fingers, the tips of my fingers represent the sensations of my breath. You know, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. So here I am, I'm, I'm observing that, but there's all of this other stuff around here. So just as, you know, while I'm looking at that, my peripheral vision, I'm also aware of, you know, different things in the room. Uh, and the other thing that's happening is I can stay pretty much focused on, on this sensation of the breath, even though my eyes dart away to this and then come back again. But what causes you to forget is something comes along that holds your attention long enough to forget this. If your eyes go away, but not so long you forget, then they come back. And you have the sense that, yes, there's other things that are competing for your awareness, but they're not making you lose it. 